lot of folks out there in the tech poi world that do gunslingers. And if you've watched any of my gunslingers videos on Instagram, you may have noticed that there's something that makes my technique a little bit different from most. I'm talking, of course, about how I get into my gunslingers, something I like to call the rap entry. And today, I want to tell you guys why I love it so much, how to do it, and why I wish more people did it. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, and I am finally throwing a bone to all of those folks who've been asking to see advanced trick tutorials return to my channel. Please join my notification squad by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know exactly when I drop a new video. I'd also like to send out a quick thank you to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and UltraPoi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about each of them by following the links that I've got down in the description of this video. So. Gunslingers. I actually first saw John Alvarez experimenting with these at the Vulcan several years ago and before he committed them to video. And I will absolutely confess that I really didn't think much of them at the time. It wasn't until I started seeing people like AoE Kondo and James McPherson performing flowers and hybrids with their gunslingers that I really got interested in adding these tricks to my repertoire. There was also this one other guy that did things with gunslingers that really intrigued me. Cryptic Firecat. He had a way to get into gunslingers that was so distinctive and cool looking that one of my first orders of business was learning from him how he was doing it. At a spin jam in Dolores Park in San Francisco, I spent a very, very frustrating afternoon trying to learn from him how to do his entry. And it was only after I took some slow motion video of him doing it that it finally clicked into place and I realized what made his entry so special. Put simply, this entry, which I've since been calling the wrap entry, adds an extra flourish to gunslingers by adding a moment in which the poise completely wrapped around the hand before being re-gripped mid-tether. And I freaking love this flourish for a couple reasons. The first is that it is a perfect fit for contact poi. While it's more popular to do gunslingers with evenly weighted heads and handles, I've never been a big fan of having heavy handles, and I always wanted to be able to perform gunslingers with the same contact poi that I use for every other task. This entry didn't just make that possible, it also made it look cool. The second is that rap entries do something similar to what 5-beat weaves do. Nick Woolsey has a great video on the reasons he does and does not like 5-beat weaves, and the really intriguing idea that comes out of that video is that they can essentially be used to slow down a weave for a little while by adding an extra degree of twist. I'll, I'll link to this video down in the description. But basically, you can trick out your weave or waist strap just a hair of a second longer for for dramatic or visual effect. And wrap entries do something very similar for gunslingers. A more common entry for gunslingers is something that I like to call the slide entry. And it involves releasing the poi when there's enough momentum on it to start sliding out of your hand, but not so much that it goes flying off. This means that it takes a single beat to get the poi to a gunslinger grip. The wrap entry, on the other hand, takes two beats to get to a gunslinger grip. That means that I can stretch out the entry for dramatic effect or work it into tricks that may otherwise not be a good fit for a gunslinger entry. One of my favorites right now is to enter a gunslinger from the bottom two petals of a flower. For example, coming out of a four petal anti-spin flower into a gunslinger, or switching from a tricatcher versus static spin to gunslinger flower versus static spin. Personally, I think this latter transition looks super slick. And finally, can I just say, I really love the fact that the entry happens with such a flourish. I see so many gunslinger entries out there with evenly weighted handles that either just ignore or just plain avoid showing off the entry to the audience. That is such a great moment to play with. Let's get creative with it. It's also without a doubt the thing that I'm asked most about when I teach classes on gunslingers. Unfortunately, it's also really difficult to teach in person, so that's where this video comes in. The best way I've found a teacher learn this trick is with footage that's been shot in slow motion so you can see every individual piece of how it comes together. You're going to have your poi in one hand with your palm pointed down and you're going to wrap the tether over your hand twice. Be very, very careful that the coils of the poi do not overlap, otherwise you won't be able to get the poi to unwrap at all. With two coils across the top of your hand, you're going to release the handle and try and keep the momentum of the head going. The tether will start to slide, but it should still have enough drag on it from being wrapped around your hand that it doesn't just fly off. You'll want to re-grip the tether as the head emerges from under your palm and begins to drift away from your hand. Needless to say, it can be kind of a challenge to do this step by step in the way that I'm describing here, because it requires you to start and stop the momentum each time. So let me show you all that in slow motion with everything moving the entire time. So again, we start by wrapping the poi over the top of the hand twice, and then as the head wraps over the knuckles a second time, you want to kick out the handle, starting it spinning around your hand. 
That's when you get this wonderful moment when the handle and head both spin around your hand for a moment without being gripped at all. Finally, you re-grip as the head slides underneath your palm and begins to pull the tether of the poi away. From there, you can just spin it however you choose. Spiral wrap, meteor weave, it's totally up to you. I really recommend starting off by wrapping the poi over your hand a couple times and getting used to both the timing of that as well as how it feels. The biggest problem I had in learning this trick was to wait for the poi to wrap around the second time. You release it too early and the poi just goes flying. Outstanding, and just for the record, there's nothing wrong with the slide entry. I just want to make sure that those of us who are playing in this space have options to work with. I think it's better to know both approaches and to be able to actively choose between them as the situation requires. So, moment of truth. Do you think that the wrap entry looks cool too? Vote for your favorite entry down in the comments. Let me know if you like the wrap by writing wrap and if you like the slide by writing slide down there. I'm really curious to see who's going to come out on top. Okay, so now that you know how to get into gunslingers using the wrap method, what else can you do with them? So glad you asked. I actually have an entire course up on gunslingers at my learning site at learn.drexfactor.com. In it, I cover not only more entries and exit options, but also all those cool flowers and hybrids that I love doing with gunslingers, plus spiral wraps and so many more. Check that out if you'd like to deepen your knowledge of gunslingers. Before I set you guys loose, I just want to do a massive shout out to my supporters on Patreon. You guys are the reason that I'm able to keep on making these videos for everyone all across the world. If you're not currently a supporter, but you'd like to become one, you can always go over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. Thanks so much in advance.